Aries, happy July. I hope you are doing well. Okay. I think this reading is phenomenal. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to start with this. Big changes for you. Um, I think what you're, it, it's a whole, you may not even see this yet. For some of you, I feel you're watching this and thinking nothing at all has moved in my life. It's about to shift entirely here. Okay, a whole new situation entirely. And I say that like, like a flood comes through, not literally, but, but your life is about to change. And I think that what I can feel behind here is a lot of, uh, for some of you, you're doing the work. For some of you, you're in the midst of it right now. For some of you, you're really enjoying it right now. For others of you, you're just thinking, no, this just, I'm about to give up on whatever, right? Don't, don't give up just yet because I think that you're going to be pleasantly surprised here. We come in with the energy of the world card. Now keep in mind, out of your five cards here, four of which are major arcana cards. So you can't discount that. Okay, you come in with the world card as your energy. Okay, you've got the judgment card. Okay. You've got the Empress card, who looks a little frazzled here. I feel, though, frazzled in a good way. And here comes trouble, right? <laughs> I don't feel so in here. I really don't. I think that um, it's, a, it's a welcomed, it's a breath of fresh air in here. Let's just pray that it goes that way. And then we've got the Devil card in here right and with him it can always go one of two ways but keep in mind the devil card and the lover card they're very very similar that's why i'm saying never discount every part of you you know what i mean because we need all of those parts so i'm not going to get on a tangent this month i think it's really great i also pulled romance and love card financial cards health card and your um your overall uh Oracle card, which is the book, and it's great. Okay, now, what I think is going on here, I can't discount the fact that we have a lot of tens in these numbers, and we've got a five, um, which would account for the frazzled empress here. Okay, and it would also be a welcome um, knight of swords, right? Uh, getting things on the road, getting things balanced. I'm not real thrilled that he's sitting next to the devil card, though. So what I want to say to you is don't let your pendulum this month swing from all the way, example would be like all the way on empty to all the way on full, then all the way to empty, then all the way to full. Aries has a tendency to burn themselves out. Like literally the car is chugging along on absolutely no fumes left whatsoever. And then they crash and then they need to revitalize and get back up again. You want to keep a middle ground here. I think you're very, very sensitive right now to... Um, energies and I think that your your body is picking up on a lot of this stuff too. keep in mind that uh, the nervous system gets affected by all of these things too right I think in a really great way I think that you're if you're if you don't have vitality right now you absolutely will and that's what the book can speak of too is vitality all right I really feel like your life is coming into a whole new uh, situation as a whole like a brand new book is coming in here okay um, I think that anything that you feel that you're lacking, my advice to you here is you are enough, okay? And you need to be the part of yourself that you think is missing, right? A lot of the time, Aries gets stuck into, and, and it's hard to do a general reading because we are all parts of the constellation we're all part of the zodiac so to say you know you've got one part aries you know and and 11 parts you know something else it's it's really hard to but this is very much an aries reading and i can say that because i i am i am very much an aries so it's that always going on but never having a drop spot you know what i mean but then it's like that paralyzed like oh i'm stuck because i don't want to leave the good that i've got 
but I really, really want to go see what else there is. You know what I mean? So it's that paradigm shift there that causes the real, okay, well, five, four, three, two, one, I'm running. You know, we're leaving that part east off. So it's, it's, that's what we kind of want to get away from in here. I know that was a, you know, a, a dramatized view of that, but, but, but that's kind of, after a while, it's kind of disheveling. It's what it feels like, okay? So again, I think in here too that there are areas that you need to take a little bit more seriously, right? Like choices or decisions or circumstance or whatever that sometimes we just don't have time to deal with it or we don't think we have time to deal with it or we just don't want to deal with it or, or whatever. And it doesn't need to be a negative, a positive. It's just something that we know we need to give our attention to, but uh, for whatever reason, we're just not doing it, right? But in hindsight, we're like, oh, crap. We probably should have paid more attention to that and, and took the bull by the horns at the time because now it's kind of like run amok. It could be anything from a home repair to a car kind of deal or, or something that you know you needed to give your attention to, but you may have only given half of an ear to something when you should have paid a lot more attention. And in hindsight, you realize now that that's what the case may have been, right? So that's what I'm saying here. But again, I really feel like there's a lot of sensual, sexual, raw firepower in here. And again, my motto, passion is prayer, and I truly believe that because it's in everything that we show up in, right? So I feel in here too, for some of you, if you think that, you know, um, you're losing vitality, it's coming back for you. Again, though, it's just in, in you've got them, in, instead of that pendulum again, swinging whoosh, all the way to the left and then oh I gotta fix this whoosh, all the way to the right you've got to find a drop spot in the middle get yourself an hourglass they're they're really inexpensive plop one on your nightstand or wherever you take a couple minutes to, to to ground yourself and I would strongly suggest that you do that it really does work I never suggest anything that I haven't test driven myself okay so so that's what I would say for some of you also like I say there is an air through here of uh, pregnancy for sure okay so if you know whatever arena that sits in for you just be aware of that it sits in here if you're saying to me well we've been trying to get pregnant forever and it's just not happening you would be pleasantly surprised that the door is opening in here again not a doctor at all but I would strongly suggest that you not lose hope in something like that because it sits in here for sure okay um, now the devil card again I really think is bringing more passion into your life, bringing more joy into your life in a balanced way. If you notice, his numbers are a 10 and a 5. Okay? And again, the devil card is not a negative unless we're not balancing that energy. And a 5 is just saying you need to give something, um, you need to look at how you're doing something, how you're showing up for something, and the 10 is saying you need to give it more attention. Right? That's all it's saying. Or it becomes an internal struggle. That's all. The devil card is not a negative card. It's a card in, in here. It's not. Unless you make it that way. And I'll get into that with the, the romance part here. Which I'm glad to see. And if you're single and flipping me off right now, stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to tell you how this, this plays out for you. Um, again, I really think that the Knight of Swords is really just, it's the... It gets you going. It's vitality. I feel like stuck energy in here, but then I feel like it gets going. You may get an aha moment in here, okay, that gets you going in a different direction. Um, it may be to the missing link to something that hasn't worked in the past, um, and now it, it gets the show on the road in here. Again, your message coming in was entirely new situation here, entirely a new situation here. So it's letting things go that need to be let gone, let be, be bygones, be bygones, and let things come forward that uh, need to come forward and release the control on it. Really, just release the control on it. July is a month, really, where you just want to sit. You just want to sit and you want to ponder and you want to think about stuff. It's not really a month for action, okay? However, ironically, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised at how much comes to you, that you don't even have to go looking for it. It's coming to you. So... Now we go on to the um, the romance and love uh, cards. We've got the oops, sorry, we've got the King of Wands and we've got the Two of Cups. Perfect dynamic here. Okay. Now, for um, 
I think that this is, I never really get to say this and I'm thrilled about it. It's a, a, whether you're coupled or single, there is, your romantic future is on fire. And by that, I mean solid. I don't just mean excitement. I mean, it's solid. It's built on something solid here. You do not, with that king of swords there, want to blow through the village here. Okay, you want to go really slow because for those of you that are in a relationship, I think your relationship gets, it takes on a new flavor. It gets some revitalization. It gets uh, an upgrade. It gets, um, it's solid. Okay, so don't worry about that in here. That's why I'm saying you want to do some stuff on yourself, though, as far as vitality goes, because you're going to pull in um, more vitality to you. Okay, now again, if you haven't met someone yet, you soon will. So don't give up hope on that. Okay. And I think that you will absolutely know this person when you meet them. Remember, these cards, guys, are not blow through the village cards. They're slow moving cards. Don't move fast on this. If you're single and you're listening to this, you do not want to go fast on this. That's where that devil card could blow this whole thing up for you with that knight of wand, knight of swords there. Okay. Intimacy on an intellectual level first, then spiritual, then physical. That's how this is coming for you, okay? I'm seeing that very clearly, so don't discount what I'm saying here, and don't, don't, don't do that, okay? Because again, like I say, your nervous system is affected here with these energies, and your sexuality, and your sexual energies, and your passions, and your fires. Don't blow through the village here. You want to, you're, you're, um, how do I say this? inner strength. You're just going to need to, to muster up your inner strength and know that you want the sparkler to burn for a while. Okay. You don't want to burn through the village here. Now, um, again, embrace your strength so that this, that, that this does this. And it also, what it's doing here is you want to keep this inner balance with yourself so that you're attracting vital, interesting people. Okay, you're going to attract what you are. And I feel like your energy reserve is a little bit low right now, but I really feel it's coming back to the surface. And that happens with taking July to just sit. Um, okay, I have a feeling too that this person is going to be older or wiser or just more experienced in something than you. Okay, so be on the lookout for that. It's going to be an excellent match for you that I feel very strongly too, okay? I think you're walking through a transit right now where you can really express yourself more of the wilder qualities that you've got in a healthy way. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? So don't don't think, oh my gosh, that's taboo. It's not taboo. When you're, you're when it's got substance, it's not taboo, okay? Um and I think you, what this does too is it allows you, that's why I'm saying don't blow through this relationship because you really get to know yourself through this too, okay? Um, allow yourself to just be more uh, open than you normally would allow yourself to be, okay? Drop your fears. Um, embrace some freedom here is really all that I'm going to say, okay? Release the... Um, the demands on yourself and really just enjoy yourself. Okay. Now for, um, finance, we've got the 10 of wands and the chariot card. Perfect. And what I want to say is I'm, I'm grateful that they flew in this, this direction. Okay. If you're thinking again, I think there might be something wrong with someone's car or you might be looking into getting something or so, it doesn't even need to be a car. It's something with transport though. I feel very strongly and ironically on here, we've got the train. So I do feel like it is something with transport or it's a, a ticket to somewhere. If you're trying to go somewhere or go on a vacation somewhere, I think what you need to do here, the great thing I'm thrilled about this is because you really need to just structure your budget seriously and you'll be able to do whatever it is that you're wanting to do. If you're defeated, think oh, I would really like to go on vacation, or oh, I really need to get a new car. If you just really, really get tight and structure on your finances, you'll absolutely be able to do this. And there's finance coming in here for you too, okay? Um, this is a great time too to really, really be disciplined, guys. If there's anything you can put extra on anything to pay down your debt, now is the time to do it, okay? 
because I really feel that you get just reward for this. Like, like something comes your way that, um, again, I, I really just think it's, they're great cards to have in the finance, um, department. Again, though, you've got to do your part here. And I really feel that things come in for you. All right. Now on the health thing, this was what I wasn't real thrilled about. And this is where I kind of feel that your vitality may be, may, may be squashed and you may have flipped me off in the relationship read back here but I have no fear okay we've got the nine of swords but we've got the ten of coins too okay what I feel with that is I think you need to analyze an experience in your life very carefully I think you may be not able to let something go I think you may not be grieving something properly and and by properly I don't mean there's any set of standards for that but I mean in a healthy way for you I think you may be um, poking at a wound and poking at a wound and not giving it the proper attention that it needs so that you can grieve it and let it go and, and find somehow the blessing in it. I can't tell from a general read what it is, but I know that it's never a good card when it shows up, but it's usually something that we just can't let go of. It's grief or it's, um, you know, maybe you did something that you feel really bad about. We learn as we go, guys, cut yourself some slack um, and, and, and just, just, it's, it's depression is what I feel. It's very, uh, it's, it's not a great energy. It's grief, maybe sucking you dry. You know, it may be a person that's doing this to you, but usually with that nine of swords, it's something though that you want to get a handle on. Okay. Um, and do that because remember that these things come in spurts and then they pass. We just, we, we want to let them go when, when we need to let them go, okay? Um, I, I really just just feel, though, that you're reliving something over and over and over again um, because that's the energy I feel, like a lull and then a high and then a lull and a high, and that's not great, okay? Instead, grieve it and then find a way, a process for yourself to let it go. Sometimes that's just writing a note, putting it on paper. It gets it out of your head, honestly. And with this card, too, Again, I'm not a doctor. You're going to need to check on these things, too, but valerian root. Valerian root is all natural. It helps you sleep. You may not be able to sleep because you're beating yourself up over something. But um, what I want to say here is that with this ten of coins, happiness is in your future. So whatever it is that you're going through, I assure you, the difference a day makes will be monumental because that ten of coins is a card of the future, and it's happiness. And right next to it, we've got the book. This is vitality. So whatever it is that you're going through here, it will pass, but you've just got to give it the attention that it needs. This whole reading is phenomenal, but what it really speaks of is put your attention and your vitality to the things that really matter, and only you know what that is, right? And then let the things go that really need to be let go. Ask for that as well because that's what's happening here you've got amazing cards in here you've got four major arcana cards that's huge this is phenomenal it's it's really a card though of just let me do what i can do and let me let the, the rest go and be pleasantly surprised guys i'm telling you these eclipses are nothing to be afraid of they're really not and then then just be open to what comes to you. I assure you, you will be pleasantly surprised and, and the effort involved will be nil. But this needs a little bit of attention and you want to balance this out. You want to set yourself free here, right? But you want long-term sustainability. You don't want disposable things, right? If you're in a current relationship, I'm going to say this to you. Um, we need to get out of the... Uh, if you're saying, well, nothing is really exciting in here, I'm going to show you how to flip that switch right now. Stop texting your partner a thousand times a day. Stop talking on the phone a thousand times a day. Save your conversations for a time where you're actually sitting in front of each other engaging, right? Where you're actually longing to see the person, where you actually miss the person. Not when someone gets home or they pass you or you're sitting across from the table with nothing to say because you've spouted out in little spurts during the day. You know what I mean? Divorce rates were a heck of a lot lower before all of this technology came in to be. You know, miss someone. Desire to see them. You know, not wait till they get home. You know, wait. Do things like that where you actually miss the person. Let them long for you, right? 
try to reinvent that kind of thing. I know a lot of you think I'm out of my mind, but I'm telling you these things work. So there you go. I hope that you enjoyed this reading.